Hey guys, for whatever reason I can't get back onto 75 hard today, I just mentally am not there. Um, in the past, what it would have been would be that I'd been restricting my diet too much and I just wanted to binge eat whatever. I don't think that's the case. I think the case is it's 11 o'clock. I cannot be bothered going on a workout outside till pretty much when I need to leave for work. I need to come home, go to the gym on the way home from work and stuff like that. It sounds like an excuse and it probably is because I did two workouts a day for like 40 plus days. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm very happy with 75 hard and how it makes me feel, how it makes me look, the way that's made me lose, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna take one more day to myself to recharge a little bit, to have complete rest, not walking a ton, not lifting any weights, and then I'm gonna start tomorrow. Um, and I know I keep saying that, I said it yesterday, but I mean it this time. Um, I actually just looked it up. Maggie! <laughs> I actually just looked it up and 75 days from now will be, uh, sorry, 75 days from tomorrow will be Christmas Eve. So my final day of 75 hard will be on the 24th of December, which means that I get to bring out the year really in a really, really positive, happy way. Um, and it means that after 75 days, I probably won't go crazy anyway, but um, it means that after 75 days, I will be able to um, relax a little bit on Christmas Day. So I like the sound of that. I need to get back in the mindset, though, of making sure I wake up early so I can get my workouts done, regardless of the fact that I have to go to work um, and quit making excuses. But anyway, Maggie slept with us last night. Um, so she had a star today by patting her. For the first time in ages, she's getting a lot better at coming and going to the toilet instead of going in the bar in our room. So we'll provisionally probably allow her to sleep with us again until she starts going in the, in the room again. If, if she does, then we'll kick her out again. But I think the main thing is Emily and I now know that we have the um, emotional strength to kick her out if, if she decides to pee in the room. But yeah, I love it. We're getting closer and closer every day, me and Miggy. Um, I've worked today from 2 to 10. Um, by the way, that's another reason, well, that's what I had to say before, but like going back to work after having like days off and stuff, it's, it's just such a pain in the ass to work out twice a day. I'm not motivated right now. Not the motivation is a thing. It's got to be about habits. But because I failed, I've got it in my head that I failed yesterday and the day before, it's like I need to give myself a little decompression time before I jump straight back in. To be honest, even the creator does that sort of stuff. Um, so there's another thing you can do after 75 hard, but you've got to wait 30 days after you've 30 clear days after you've finished 75 hard to start it. Um, that will actually probably work out really well for me, cause it'll mean that I'll probably get to enjoy my birthday and like a bit of summer and have some drinks and stuff. How many days between the 24th of December and the 21st of January? Um, it's 28 days. Oh, Will. So yeah, well I guess 24th is not even counted, so it'll be 27 days, which means it'll be two a couple of days after my birthday. That's really cool. Um, big dreams, big plans, big goals as always. I'm just a little bit disappointed in myself and need that decompression. Now. But yeah, what I was saying is, a second program, you have to wait 30 clear days because you need that time. You can't be like 75 days straight doing two workouts. That's like at least 150 workouts in 75 days. Restricting yourself in the way you're eating some form of diet. He's not specific about the diet. And that's why I'd be pretty lax with myself and do 1800 calories most times. Um, and, and only, I just never go above my, um, my fitness pal burn calorie. So that means if I'm going to have a bigger day of 3,000 calories, I've actually got to work for it. I've got to burn 1,000 plus calories to indulge in a day like that. Um, but yeah, today's the last decompression day. I'm not going to go crazy anyway because I'm going to be at work, so I don't know I feel like shit at work. I'll just get myself something for lunch and then chill and then go to work. And then yeah, back at it tomorrow, beast mode. I was sort of like a little lacking anyway towards the end. Um, I'm excited to smash it harder the second time around, knowing what I know now. It's going to be good. Um, I'm definitely going to need to clean the house and stuff because it's getting messy again and I hate that. Anyway, um, I'll film more later. I just got home from work. It was a surprisingly good day. Um, I'm a bit tired. It's 11 o'clock. What I'm planning on doing right now is going to the shops to buy fruit for tomorrow. 
sort of deciding that this time around was 75 hard and just in general not just 75 hard and I may have days that I revert back to how I was doing 75 hard the first time around but I want to be eating more fruit and yogurt and healthier stuff like that again as opposed to what I was doing was saving like six or 700 calories in my 1800 calories a day and eating snacks and I'm sick of doing that I want to be eating better food isn't that right Maggie isn't that such a better idea Maggie isn't it it is, isn't it? Oh, look at it shaking. Don't have to be scared, baby. It's okay. So yeah, I don't know. even though it's like the middle of the night, I'm going to go to the shops right now so that I am waking up tomorrow to a fruit bowl full of good fruit, ready for me to smash my day, fuel myself right. It's going to be really good. I can't wait. I don't know why I just went to put the camera away because I'm going to end the vlog now because I'm freaking tired. Um, so I'm just going to go straight to the shops, do that, and then come home and sleep. So thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.